Welcome back to People for People. Once again, I'm your host, Tammy Allen, and my great pleasure today to be here talking with Families First, an organization that has been doing incredible work for over 100 years, 120 years. And we have Mary Yates, and you are on the board of directors for nine years. Yes. That's a long time. Well, I'm excited about this agency, and I, I, I am going to rotate off the board this year, but uh, we have a mandatory um, rotation off, but it's been an exciting, exciting experience for me. And so tell me what's what's uh, coming up for you and what's... I'm co-chairing, uh, my husband and I, Charlie, um, are co-chairing with Lou and Blanton Winship our annual fundraising dinner, which okay. is Dining for a Difference. All right. You get to dine, have great food, and make a difference at the same time. Exactly. And where is this event and when? It is going to be March 18th at the Cobb Galleria Center. So is this like a um, kind of formal, do you get to dress up? I love to dress up, just curious. Well, it's not <laughs> terribly dressy. We're, uh, we're a serious agency, and so it's more business attire, but a little bit, little bit dressier than straight business. Okay. You can come in a cocktail dress if you like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're getting underway at 6 with cocktails and then followed at 7 by dinner. Okay. We have a very um, exciting program lined up. Okay, and what's the program about? Well, the highlight is uh, Leanne and Sean Tuohy. They are the couple that adopted Michael Orr, um, a homeless boy who was 15 at the time. And working together, um, he managed to graduate from high school, was one of the most highly recruited football players oh, wow. of his graduation year. I'm not year. a football fan, so I wouldn't know the name. But. Yeah, uh, and um, he, he went to Ole Miss, was very successful there, and he is now in his first year with Baltimore Ravens starting every wow. game. Wow. I think I have heard that story. That's it, awesome. It was, uh, it and this was an adoption that came to Families side. First. No, no, the adoption, this, is, this family um, is from Memphis, mm. so we're not directly related to them. What is important from Families First standpoint is that this story right. is related to the work we do. Right, and it can happen. You never know. It can happen. Um, it does happen. Unfortunately, the good stories don't get a lot of publicity. Isn't that so we're that delighted. You know, The Blind Side was number one in the box office for weeks. Mm. Um, and, and it's a very moving story, but um, we think the chance to see this family in person, on stage, will bring it up close and personal and relate very well to the story we tell. Right, and they can tell you about what they went through. I'm sure that they went through a lot. But. They went through a lot, and he went through a lot um, before he came to them. He, he had a very low grade point average. Mm -hmm. Uh, really couldn't qualify to play high school athletics. Wow. But they took him under their wing and he worked with fierce determination. You know, we think of people as rescuing kids like this. It's not about rescue. It's about empowering them. Mm -hmm. It's about giving them the boost that they need. And they have to reach down deep and pull up the determination and the passion to make a go of it. And Michael Orr is, is an incredible guy. You know what I think too, somebody that had been through that background, they're gonna appreciate more, whereas you know, kids, you know, they just take it for granted, so they don't have that drive you know, to really, really succeed, whereas somebody who's just had nothing and knows what that is, and all of a sudden is given that opportunity, you know, they're going to appreciate it and work it oh, harder. Yes, and, yeah. and it's, it's fun. It, I think Leanne has said repeatedly, she's the mother. Um, that Michael gave more to her mm -hmm. than she could possibly give to him. Mm -hmm. I can and relate I, to that. <laughs> I think that's the experience people have over and over again. We are also honoring a foster family that has worked with Families First for over 40 years. Wow. I, I met them. So they've been a foster parents for the whole 40 years? Mm -hmm. Yes, and we support, we recruit and support foster families. and. It's continuous wraparound support. It's mm -hmm. helping them get the children assessed for their educational needs, their medical needs, um, and of course, it's helping them, um, you know, 
have, do you have teenagers? Sometimes I have you grandchildren. Want to, <laughs> sometimes you want to kick your own teenagers out, and oh, so yeah. everybody needs to be enveloped in support right. to make this work, and that's what we do with our foster families. But this couple, she, he is 90, she is 84. Are they still foster parents? They are still, still foster they parents. Um, they must be, you know what, it's the kids, isn't it? Give them that spark. The kids they do, are, in this. fact, that's what he says. The kids have kept me young, um, but their, their faces just shine with wisdom, mm. with love, um, with dedication, with selflessness. I, I thought to myself as I was meeting this couple that if ever I have seen the exemplification of the widow's might, this is it. These people um, have given everything to the kids in their lives. Mm. And they, you know, I wonder too, you know, just in encouraging people to become involved, you know, the general public out there that uh, um, when you give of yourself what you you're not being selfless I think you're being selfish because you are given so much exactly you know from from when the, when the people get it when you see them shine you shine you know you've mm -hmm. offered this they took it back and they reflect it back to you and it's not selfless it is totally selfish but in the most positive way but in the, in the most selfless way yes <laughs> okay I'll, I'll give you that I'm gonna get that word in there because I really, um, I think selfless comes from, you've heard the expression being in the zone. Mm -hmm. I think when you are providing, when you're opening your heart mm -hmm. and supporting the most vulnerable in our world, children, right. that um, you do become selfless. You forget about yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean it in that way. Right. Which is the takeaway of the blind side. I mean, the takeaway yes. is, and we hope everybody will leave that evening recognizing that they too, either like the Lewises or like the Tuies, can gain so much by giving more right. to children. Yeah. And that if we each can, and we'll talk about this, raise our hand to make a difference in a child's life. And it doesn't have to be foster care, it doesn't have to be adoption, it can be just simply talking to a child and encouraging a child. But if we do that and empower that child, and we each did that, just think about mm. how we would measure our success as a society right. in terms of its impact on children. And our, and our collective future. Our collective future. Yes. I think about, uh, when you say this, I think about Oprah Winfrey's story of um, being identified in a crowd by, it was some politician's wife, I forget exactly who, who looked at her and said, you are just cute as a button, <laughs> or something like that. And she just flowered under that praise. Yeah, well, I think we all do. Well, I'm flowering right now under just listening to you talk about uh, all these wonderful stories and how excited you get. we got to take a little break right now. Thank you so much, Mary and uh, Kim, and uh, we'll be back with one more segment. Yes, thank you.